all right guys welcome to today's tutorial in this tutorial today i will be teaching you how to create a drop down list in microsoft word okay without wasting our time at all if you have not subscribed to this channel please subscribe to this channel there are useful content on this channel already and there are other useful content i'm going to be uploading to this channel okay so let's get started on today's tutorial we have some tabs by default in microsoft word but the tab we are going to be working with today is not by default included here so we need to include this tab right now so to include this tab we need to right click on this ribbon then when you right click on the ribbon you will see customize ribbon okay so click on customize ribbon then you will have this pop-up window then to the right hand side here you are going to see developer okay so by default the developer is not checked you can see all that ones that are checked they are added to the ribbon but developer tab is not added to the ribbon so you click on developer tab and click ok all right so optionally if that doesn't work for you you can go to the backstage here click on this file then click on options when you click on options you will have this pop-up then click on customize ribbon okay so when you click on customize ribbon you will see this developer i've checked it already but by default it, if it is not checked check it and make it appear on the ribbon so now i have developer option in the ribbon now we are going to be working with this command under control group okay so you come under control group and come to drop down list content control now if you are not familiar with all these terms i'm using the group the command the tab the ribbons i've said in this tutorial i've pinned a link in the comment section below and in the description box below this link contains the playlist of my microsoft word tutorials so you can watch my introduction video on microsoft word all right now to create the drop down list click on this command drop down list content control all right so you will see this in your document make sure it is selected then go to properties all right so when you click on properties you will see title you will see tags then you can give it a title let me just give give it menu list menu list okay now to add item because we are going to we are trying to create a drop down list a drop down menu okay so now to add an item you come here click on add right so the display name and the value so let's just type the display name the display name i'm going to use list one to list five okay so list one then you click on okay right so click on add again list two click on ok then click on hard again list three okay then hard again list four okay then hard again list five all right so now in this small box here we have our list we have list one to five so i can click ok so on clicking ok those lists are added to this drop down list control okay so if i click on this arrow that is pointing down i can see all the lists that have added now if i don't select this item for instance i click on other part of the document you can see that it is faded and it is not clear so it is not that noticeable in this document so if you want to make it noticeable click on it again then go back to the property then you come to the tag by default it is assuming the title we have given which is menu list so you can change the tag if you want so after changing the tag you can come under show as instead of bounding box you can change it to start and end tag so it will add this menu list to the start and add it to the end as a tag okay so when i click ok now you can see so even if i'm working on other part of the document you can see that it is noticeable it is clear now it is not as faded as before so you can see the menu list and the menu list as the start tag and the 
and tag all right so if i click on the item now and click on this arrow i can still see the drop down list that i've created all right guys that will be all for this tutorial if you have not subscribed to this channel please subscribe to this channel turn on notification bell and please don't forget to give this video a like and don't also forget to share this video i'll see you in my next tutorial thanks for watching this video